Hello there and welcome back to A Town Called Bastard. We are playing Card Hunter. We're about to embark on a new quest for Lord Stafford's treasure. We're leading, leaving Melvilus the Magnificent for a little bit later. Um, first off, uh, I don't, I'd like some feedback, actually. Give me feedback, people. Um, I've recently set, uh, changed my PC setup. Uh, so it's a different desk and a different room, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I can't help but notice uh, when I'm recording and when uh, when I play back recordings, uh, there's a lot of fan noise evidence on the uh, on the actual episodes. Uh, but I don't know if this is mostly my paranoia and pigginess or whether it's actually interfering with your viewing pleasure. Um, so please do let me know. Um, whether it's uh, interfering or whether it's kind of just on the edge of tolerable or, or whatever, um, so that I can think about uh, renewed setups and various potential solutions to, solutions to the problem. Um, yeah, do that thing. In the meantime, we're going to go have a look for Lord Stafford's treasure. Let's do that thing. Whoa. Legend has it that the compass of Zor shows the bearer the location of his heart's true desire. Um, using the compass of Zor, you are led to Lord Stafford's mansion. Stafford keeps a retinue of armed guards and a kennel of vicious dogs to guard his sp sprawling estate. Prove your worth. Infiltrate these perilous halls and plunder Lord Stafford's greatest treasures. How many mansions has this guy got? Okay, breaking and entering again. Pizza! Pizza delivery. Hey, is that the compass of the compass of Magellan? Yes, ATCB and I are just catching up on our geography homework. Oh, so ashamed. They never be ashamed. Sounds about as dull as delivering pizzas. Yeah. See, the twist here will be that she does role playing. There we go. Um, which is, I mean, it kind of because it's retro. It's kind of an interesting twist, but also. Playing to stereotypes. Stafford's main hall, Lord Stafford's mansion on the Undead Sea Coast. What a name! Is his personal retreat. Well, why wouldn't it be? Undead Sea Coast uh, property is highly sought after. His staff are now on high alert after you ra after your raid on his summer hall estate. Reinforcements have been summoned, not least of which is a highly illegal copper golem installed in the entryway. The last of its kind. It seems to recognise you as it stomps murderously across the carpet. Oh God. Um, I hope, actually, if this is one where we just fight one big enemy, um, I actually quite like them, <laughs> because focus fire is a wonderful thing. Uh, bzz, clank, whir, clunk, muses the copper golem. It doesn't understand the problems of mortals. Well, quite. Um, okay. Ooh, obliterating chop, two different targets. Um, let's try and wipe out these guys first, because I think this guy will be pretty slow. Probably... Um, so with that in mind, I'm tempted to uh, immediately just start working on these guys. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Ah. Zap. There we go. Um, ooh, two, two different targets will be good, but we can just instantly wipe out this guy with this, probably. So I'll probably just do that. You bastard! Oh my god. Seriously? Oh, I hate you so much. Um, okay. Uh, what? One, two, three. Surely I should be able to move here. Because it doubles the movement next time, doesn't it? Or does it just stop you dead? Ugh, whatever. Um... Okay, uh, let's carry on fighting this guy. Let's go this way. Ha ha! Oh dear. That's bad. Let's move over here. Yay! That's actually really good. Uh, what does Icy Block do again? Uh, encumber 2. Whenever you move, subtract two points. Okay, so they can't move very much. But they're probably going to die soon anyway. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. You move there. So I've got a little plan here. I've got a little plan. And it's quite good. Um, you skip here, my friend. And then you use dash here. And then you deadly spark. 
Like so. Zap. Yeah. Love it. Um, <laughs> okay, we've got to get rid of some of this stuff. Healing Pulse and Minor Heal. Um, well, we haven't taken any damage, so we can't use those. So healing Dash is quite nice. Um, but, uh, I don't have to burn it, I suppose. I could just discard it, but I might as well use it for the two movement. Yeah. Might as well. Okay. That's a fairly satisfying round. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, we're getting paler. Uh, and we're gonna do... Uh, I'd like to kill him, really. Um, draining touch, that's a heal thing, right? Yeah, okay. Let's start with a penetrating cut with uh, Impaler on him. Oh my god! That's really bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> and he could just carry on bludgeoning me. So I am going to walk away. Um, and then get some healing on the go. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, I should probably... If I go... There. Ouch. Draining touch. For a bit of healage. Alright. Okay, he's passed. So, can I... If I magma spray... Yes, that won't hit any of mine by the look of it. Fire! Hooray! Shredding strike. Yikes. Run away. <laughs> really run away. And we can... Do a healing pulse first off. And then a minor heal on ourselves. Oof. That guy's got a lot of damage and it's going to do a lot of pain. So that's nice. Let's hot spot this guy. Kill it with fire. Okay. That should deal a goodly amount of damage, hopefully, unless he's, uh... Nope! Ah! Still, that's good. That is good. Ouch. Uh, okay. Can we kill him this turn? Potentially, yes. Uh, punishing Strike. See, that could be pretty good. Uh, and then Avenging Touch. Heal one of their allies. Um, so we'll actually use up this stuff first. Um, should I actually move him away because he's in danger of dying? Or should I take advantage with the let's see, weak chop? It just isn't that good. Um, if they're both next to him, it might be worth it. But um, Should I actually walk him away or should I power spark before he has a chance to do anything? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Um ha. Hooray. Oh, that's actually good. I I prefer you to kill him really. Um <laughs> frankly. Uh okay. Um hmm. Bah. Okay, that isn't actually ideal. Because uh, that means I can't get to you this round. Probably still a kill. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Can't do anything else. 
Uh, that's actually useless at the moment. Well, it won't do the heal at the moment, so, you know. Whatever. Boo! Could have used that extra bit of damage. Uh, oh, especially because of this. Okay, what's that? Attack soldier. Create a bludgeon card and put it on target's hand. Okay. Still got punishing strikes, so, you know, that's fine. Uh, let's power spark him. Shall we use that to kill him? No. Ugh. It's on clumsy though, which is nice. Okay, uh, have you got to punishing strike that guy really? To get him dead before he can kill you? Yes. Unfortunately. Um, let's do a scouting run. Go here. And then let's do a run and go here and then let's do get just rid of some of this attack soldier on yourself I suppose to get a bludgeon card um yeah okay and let's uh, cast righteous fury on yourself I suppose Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. Come on, we've got seven damage to do to him. Oops. So you get Spark Generator. And Dimensional Traveler. And Armor. Thanks for that. Um, so let's dash off. Just dash off by one. And let's... Let's run there. For fuck's sake. <sighs> Let's get rid of that healing Nash. Just gonna be dodging around here at this rate. Uh, misguided heal on yourself, just to use that up. And I guess that'll have to be it. Attacks. <laughs> uh, attacks that I can actually use. That would be useful. Um, teleport I want. Whatever. I'll go there. Okay, I can actually use some of this stuff now. Okay, let's start with the Punishing Strike. Hooray! That's it. Victory! Brushing loose rivets and bits of cog from your armour, <laughs> you are faced with dozens of corridors leading in different directions. The map indicates that the treasury lies beyond the chapel, which is to the north. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. Stone of the Blank Mind, common arcane item. It's got a black one in it, or something that has black connotation, so I'm probably not going to use it. Uh, memory loss, oh uh, no, nah. yeah, that's definitely not worth a power gem, no. Uncommon Martian skill, sharp bashing, getting paler and bruiser. Uh, how many bashes do I have though, really? How many bashes do I have? I don't think I have pretty much any, to be honest. Um, no. No, I really don't, so that's getting moved in here. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll wrap up that episode and join me next time for part two of Lord Stafford's Treasure. And I'll see you then. Bye.